Let's get into the game. Here we are. Uh, sorry about the delay. So we have Arena, and it's a Dark Age star. I don't know if you guys have been reading on AOC Zone about Masters of Arena 4 coming up, but it is coming up, and that is going to be a Castle Age start most likely, which there's been a lot of debate about. And, you know, I have my input on it, but if it is going to be a Castle Age start, it's going to be a Castle Age start. This game is going to be a Dark Age start, and we are about to see the players click up to the Feudal Age. So it's a standard arena game and Jon Snow here in the blue he is well known for arena and he's a pretty interesting player he's a very slow player he doesn't move around very fast if you watch him play but he just knows the map Tato of course is a fan favorite he is here uh, I should look at the civilizations Tato is Turks and then Japanese for Jon Snow so we look at the build orders and what the players are doing. Sorry, I'm just catching up. One thing I do notice is that there's four relics here. Jon Snow will probably want to snatch those up. In the back of his base, he does have that one gold. He does have a stone. And that gold's not in an awful position for him. A little bit of space in the back. Meanwhile, for Tato, he has his main gold here. And he does have two golds in the back if he scouts it. He has already scouted it. And also, he's luring in some deer, which is good. Jon Snow going up with 25 villagers, Tato going up with 26. But if I say Jon Snow, that is terror, and he's known as either. Uh, Jon Snow is a very good player, though. Very good player. So we'll see how this goes. Most people are probably going to favor Tato. He's a very popular player, like I said. Now, as Japanese, you're... You know, you can do a lot of things. Obviously, with the lumber camps and the mining camps and the mills cheap, you have a lot of extra wood. So you can go into the monastery production pretty easily. Not sure what Jon Snow has planned. He's sending villagers over here. Obviously, he's going to go market blacksmith. But after that, we'll have to see. Uh, it's everybody following. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. You should be able... 26 viewers joined the bets. Wow, that's a lot of viewers. You should be able to say hello in the chat now. Because I will not be distracted until the Castle Age. They're about to click up to the Castle Age, but if you're new, I will know that you're new. I'm good with faces or with names, so go ahead and say something. It looks like Jon Snow's going to click up. Just going to have enough resources. Look at this. Probably going to send these guys. Nope, doesn't even need to. And he might redistribute the guys on berries to wood. But we're going to know his build. He has four on gold, so definitely enough to get one or two monks out. Meanwhile, Tato... He does have some villagers on stone, and he will be going for a castle, most likely. And we'll have to see how aggressive he goes. He will go into Genisteries, I think, but one or two TCs, we'll see. Misha's new. No, you're not. You're a liar. Kafter. Hey, he, he, he might be new. Who knows? Yeah, you're in. You're definitely new. I, I recognize you. And, uh... Yeah, Nadir's kind of new. Follows coming in. Aquarian Delitio. I've never had to say that before. You're new. Welcome, guys. Welcome, guys. Everybody coming in. Uh, e, e Hidalgo. I actually did see your chat earlier during the countdown. So I did see you say that. And thanks, man. I appreciate it. A lot of people coming in from YouTube, as usual. I'm looking at the resources. Tato, he doesn't have a lot, but that's because he's committed a lot of villagers to stone. If I were him, I'd put the castle on the front here, kind of securing the gold in just the front of his base. With Jon Snow, he could go for that monastery. He could even go for two. Keep in mind that the monks, they can convert the Janissaries, but it's really not something you want to count on. He's probably going to go for a bit of a boom, but he definitely will want to snatch up as many relics as possible. And there we go. There's one monastery, two monasteries. Okay, so he's going for two. And then maybe a town center getting Bosal now. But of course, he doesn't have the resources for that next town center just yet. You're all nude now. Oh my gosh. Stop it, guys. Don't do that to me. Now, keep in mind that Tato's scout goes into Light Cap, which is going to be helpful picking off any monks. And also, of course, he's going to win any scout battle in the middle. So. Johnson is going to have to run away. Maybe he's going to try and lure Tato's scout towards his monks. But that castle is going up there, so Tato wants to secure that gold. 
And he's probably going to stick around on stone until he gets enough stone for the next town center. If he's going to do that, I still don't know if he's planning on that. That's my guess. Meanwhile, Jon Snow getting that early wheelbarrow. And he's sending out the two monks. And he's going to heal up his scout a bit, I think. But the, the relics are right here. And I don't think Tato has a monastery yet. There we go. He's just now putting it up. So Jon Snow, he has two monks... If he's able to keep these monks alive, he can run out. Snatch two relics already. And this one's in a good spot for him, so this one should be his. He gets these. These three. That's gonna be great, but Tato's waiting. And we can look at what Jon Snow sees. Jon Snow's out here with his scout. And there goes Tato. Does Jon Snow see it? Well, it looks like he does. There we go. He's going for the conversion now. Tato's running away. Oh, and he... Wow! That was a fast conversion! Man, <laughs> Tato says WTF, oh my gosh, that's insane, and now the third monk coming out, that's a huge deal, and I'm not sure what tug means, <laughs> unless that's an abbreviation I'm not aware of, but that was one of the fastest conversions I've ever seen, oh he's probably saying air tug, <laughs> that's probably what he's saying, air tug hacks, but... <sighs> Four relics for Jon Snow now, for sure. <laughs> and Tatsu's just gonna have one. He's sending out the Janistries, but I don't know what he's gonna be able to do. Keep in mind that third town center now coming up for Jon Snow. Tato is still on one. If you look at the vill difference, Tato is ahead by two, but that's gonna change shortly. And in the late game on Arena, the relics are really important in 1v1s. Tournament 90, what a nickname, yeah. Yeah, it's my nickname, apparently. I, I've heard a lot of different things, and I will... I will talk about my nickname in the Q&A video, which I'm still kind of working on. I want it to be a good video, so it will take a little bit more time, guys. Obviously, I'm streaming in my spare time as well, so bear with me on that. So, second town center coming up for Tato. As you can see, both players are level on villagers now. Actually, Jon Snow just pulling ahead. And I think it's going to continue that way. So Tato's behind, in my opinion. Way behind. And the monk's still coming out from Jon Snow. A lot of people bet on Tato, I assume. And a lot of people know Tato. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to open up this drink real quick. It's still, you know, early in this stream. So I need to stay hydrated. But a lot of people know Tato, so they bet on Tato. But Jon Snow knows Arena well. That's all he does. He's queuing up a lot of farms. He is going out to stone as well, so I don't know if that's for a defensive castle or if it's for maybe another town center, because I think he can defend with the monks for now. But, oh man, I was not expecting that. Okay, so with these Janissaries, there's eight range. The monks, if you look, and you'll see it at the bottom, have nine range. So with amazing micro, Jon Snow could get a lot of conversions, and he knows that they're coming now. But still Tato, of course. You know, he's controlling these guys. He can micro these guys. He should be able to pick a lot of monks off. Tato still has to go through the walls to do that damage. Jon Snow knows it could be coming, like a petard maybe. Because he's getting loom. And I don't see that yet from Tato. He's just still making a lot of Janissaries. But ideally, Tato would have been able to secure the relics in the middle, but he was unable to do that. He just has these guys holding the middle, and I'm not sure why or what his plan is he's still always heavy on stone so he might go for another castle and there are the petards okay so tato's gonna go a little bit aggressive meanwhile Jon snow is making a lot more monks a lot of people talking about the quality options um i had a good month like the best month ever i had a thousand follows in a month, which is ridiculous. And then YouTube, of course, is great, but that doesn't really apply to Twitch. They don't care about that. So I did apply for Twitch partnership. I uh, wrote them a big old essay and gave them all the, the stats that they could probably see anyway. And they did not give me the partnership. So I'm, I'm screwed on the quality options, guys. Nothing I can do. My quality is great, but you know, if your internet can't support it, then you're probably going to get some buffering or... Sometimes it depends on where you're located as well. 
Jon Snow is definitely going for a defensive castle. And the Pizzards are going to come in, and he knows... Oh, look at this. He might go for a Maganel. He's walling up. Like I said, Jon Snow knows the map. There goes the Pizzard bus. Tato's coming in. He's going to try and pick off some monks. We'll see the conversions come in. One conversion, two conversions. I didn't even see a monk go down. Three conversions? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable play from Jon Snow. And he's going to immediately try and wall up behind. He's making a Maganel. More conversions coming in. Look at this. How many conversions is he going to get? That's unbelievable. We're going to have to look at the end. I'm trying to focus on all these things. But Jon Snow. Jon Snow's monks. Holding on. That Maganel. Going to go down, but he's held on long enough. He's clicked up to the Imperial Age, and he's going to have that castle to defend. I thought Tato was going to go with another castle, maybe on the front, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. And we'll see what Jon Snow wants to do in the Imperial Age. He's going for, okay, a barrack, so maybe he will go into Skirmisher or Arbalest. But keep in mind that these monks, they can get upgrades in the Imperial Age. That monk, is it going to go down? It's funny because the monks are actually healing the monk that's getting shot. It just amazes me. I really appreciate Jon Snow because... Like I said, he's a very slow player. You put him on Arabia and he gets wrecked by Tato every time. He can play 50 games and Jon Snow probably loses every one unless he walls up his map. <laughs> but on Arena, Jon Snow is great. He knows the map. He knows what to do. He's going with Archer Ranges now. I, I'm not trying to offend Jon Snow or make him look bad. It's just this is his territory and this is all he knows. He still hasn't gone for that castle. He is going for a crossbow. Now, Tato's on the way to the Imperial Age as well. Bill Count's still pretty close. And is there a second castle for Tato? About to go up. And it looks like he's going to go out and try and collect these other golds. The struggle for Jon Snow is that he doesn't have the wood currently. I'm just noticing this. And he's going into Arbalest. He doesn't have the wood. Also, he does not have... He does have Bodkin Arrow. Okay, so his upgrades are okay. But I just feel like he doesn't have the wood to keep these ranges rolling. And obviously he's created four ranges, so he wants to get the production flowing. Meanwhile, Tato, he can go into Bombard Cannons. He doesn't have a Siege Workshop. Bombard Cannons are really expensive, so he might just be waiting until he gets his economy in a little bit better spot. But the monks, I think the focus is on the monks, because as we saw earlier, Jon Snow is really good with the monks. Really strong, he's getting illumination, he's getting block printing, so he's going to have a lot of upgrades and the Arbalest. And I think he's running forward to build this castle? Oh man, Jon Snow, you're ballsy. Where's he going to build this? Is he going to mill the deer? <laughs> I feel like he's going to go for a castle in the middle and then go with Trebs. Like, that's the ideal. If you have a castle here, you can just have the trebs underneath it. So maybe he's going to go for it right here. Pato's going for the siege workshop for bombard cannons. Okay, this is exactly what Johnson is going to do. He's going to put a castle right in this area. There you go. He's going for it. Does Tato see this? Where's Tato's army? Oh, he's actually... Well, he's Hussars over here, but Tato does not see this. I don't think Tato's going to stop it. Now, Hussars are a great play from Tato. Obviously, Turks get that for free. He can go in there and try and pick off these monks, but if the castle's there and more Arbalest come out, I don't know how successful that's going to be. Keep in mind that Jon Snow does have four relics. He can maybe access this gold as well later on. I like the fact that Tata pushed out here to this gold early on, though. Redemption's now coming in. So Jon Snow, with 9 plus 3 range, can convert some of these Bombard Cannons. There's only one now for Tato. He doesn't have a large military force, except for Hussars. This is what I like about Arena. This is why I was a little bit disappointed with the Castle Age start. I mean, it might still get to the Imperial Age, we just never know, but I like this build-up. We haven't seen a lot of action, really. This build-up really excites viewers and myself as well. We are going to see Trebs for sure from Jon Snow. And Tato's going to have to react. But this build up's really interesting. You can look at the economies and try and talk about the plays from you know, each player and what they're going to do. And what their plan is. 
And I was right about Jon Snow going forward with the Trebs. He has two castles. He can have a lot of Trebs in a second if he's able to keep the castles going. Pato's gonna go for a push. And there you go. There's two Bombard Cannons. Can he pick off the Treb? I think he's gonna pick off the Treb. There's also a Treb there from Tato. Good reaction from him. Look at that. Jon Snow not even paying attention. Not sure what he's doing. Tato still massing these Hussars at the top as well. I don't know their upgrades. I'm unable to see that. But the repairs are gonna have to come in. If Jon Snow loses the middle, maybe putting the castles here is not a good idea if he can't make the Trebs. Because if he loses the middle, it's going to be bad news for him. Two castles, so important to Japanese. And he's going to have nothing to protect the monks, actually, as he sends the Arbalest down here to clean up the Janissaries. Okay, makes sense. But Tato might be tempted to come out now, as the castles are about to go down. The monks still have had nothing to say in the Imperial Age. They're not touching these Bombard Cannons. Oh, they're trying to, though. They Can they get a conversion? No, they can't. One castle's down. I think this other one's gonna go down as well. But you know what? Tato could lose a castle. I think he is. He's just out of stone now. There's three trebs for Jon Snow. Wasn't really paying attention to that. But there's five from Tato and two Bombard Cannons. And a lot of monks. A lot of monks. Tato just deleting that one. He knew he would have lost it. So hard to call. The trebs are being repaired. Monk's really not doing anything. Good call from Tadza to go into Trebs instead of Bombard Cannons. Arbalest coming in. No, the Arbalest could take out the Trebs. It'll take a while. Jon Snow has to repair his trebuchets. Oh! Are the Hussars gonna come in? I saw the walls get deleted. What's Tato's plan? He's gonna lose that trebuchet. What's his plan? Why did he delete the walls? I don't know, but he just let Jon Snow in. Hussars have not come out at all. Jon Snow can pick off some villagers and push in with these traps. Where, what is Tato doing? There they go. There they go. Here they are. And decent upgrades. But there's a lot of Arbalest here. It's all down to Jon Snow's monks. And he sees it. He sees it. He's going to get a lot of conversions. But I think the monks are going to go down. I think the hussars will go down as well. Now Tato's immediately sending out his traps to go after this castle. Tato's deleting his walls. I didn't see a ton of conversions to be honest, but... Not many hussars left in a second. One capped ram coming out from Tato. I do like that. The good meat shield for him. But in the end, just look at that. Still some monks there healing. The Arbless are there. The skirmishers are there. Jon Snow did lose his castle. This is such a mess of a game. But the problem is for Tato, he doesn't have castles to make Janistries. He's going into hand cannons against Arbales. He has nothing to push this back. His play now, I think, is just to try and stop this for now. Pick off these trebuchets. Because he's losing his. To his own Hussars. <laughs> wow. Jon Snow. Holding the front and he might snag this relic as well. He has monks here. That relic's gonna be out of this monastery in a second. And Tato calls the GG. Wow. What a game. That was really hard to call. I'm pretty rusty on casting because I haven't touched my computer in a couple days. But really rusty with Arena and just how strong were those monks. That was incredible. A great game from Jon Snow. And, you know, the longer that game went on the better you know, position Jon Snow is going to be in. Keep in mind, Turks need that gold. So, and also, he didn't have four relics, and Jon Snow did. He only had one. So, good play from Jon Snow. And though it wasn't perfect, it was enough. And you guys are going to lose a lot of relics. I have a feeling that... I have a feeling, <clears throat> excuse me, that a lot of you guys bet on Tato and that whoever bet on... Jon Snow is going to have a large payout coming. There you go. You can see the gold collected. That was a big deal. But the strategies, the strategies in the end, that's what decided it. I like the fact that they switched up the sieves.